Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be doing variables on both sides. You will be able to do 11.15 and 11.16. Today, students will be able to solve equations with variables on both sides. Um, remember that if you're not sure of previous, um, there is always, you can always go to the other videos, okay? Okay, so we have here number one, and the first thing that I want you to do is to, through the equal sign, if you get confused, is to draw a line, okay? And this means that it's like a balance. Whatever is on this side is the same as whatever you have on this side. So... You can cancel actually any of the terms in here as long as you understand what's going on. But if you get confused, it's easier to just get rid of the X. We have X on both sides and we cannot have that. So basically, you're going to cancel variable term. And that's so that our x is on one side only. So we're going to cancel by subtracting the whole 2x. Okay? Not only the 2, but the whole 2x. And this cancels. And that's because we have variables on both sides. 4x minus 2x equals 2x. So basically in here, what we're doing is just combining the like terms. But once it was canceled. We bring down the 5 equals and then we bring down the 9. The next step is just like the previous uh, lessons that we learned. I think it's 11.13 maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so it's cancel by subtracting. And here is you know, you have, you have to cancel the 2 and you have to cancel the 5. Um, we cancel first the adding or subtracting by the opposite operation, the inverse operation. So we get, in this side, 5 minus 5 is 0, so th that's why it's canceled. And so 2x equals 9 minus 5 is 4. Finally, when you have a number and a variable, it means multiplication. The opposite is to cancel by division okay so we divide by 2 remember that putting it underneath or as a fraction it means division and 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 x we don't put the 1 as a coefficient and 4 divided by 2 is 2 so that's going to be my answer okay let me see you can check, and I'm, I'm just going to plug numbers in here. I'm going to replace to check really fast. If the 2, if the x is equals to 2, so 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 5, right? Should be equal to the other side, which is 2 times 2 is 4 plus 9. 8 plus 5, that's equals to 13. And 4 plus 9 equals 13. So yes, it is equal. That means that my answer is correct. Okay. So that's a quick way of checking. If you do have that equality, that means that it's the answer is correct. Uh, this part you don't have to do. It's just a quick way to check it. Some people do it mentally also. Oh, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. Let's check in the other side. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 9 is 13 as well. Okay, let's do another one. Again, the first thing, whenever you see variables on both sides, they are not combined like terms. Some people say, oh, 7 plus 3 is 10x. No, it's cancel the variable term. Again, we're going to draw the division. And so, to bring it to the here together with the 7, 
if you're adding 3x, you have to subtract 3x so that this cancels on this side. But if you cancel on one side, then you cancel on the other. Look at that sign in here. And here you're adding, and down here for both, both of them, you're subtracting. And so this cancels, and you get 7x minus 3x is 4x plus 10 equals 18. Then, from here, it's just like the regular two-step equations. You cancel by subtracting. And so minus 10, minus 10. Remember that you all cancel the plus or minus of the constant. And finally, the coefficient, okay? So it's going to be 10 minus 10 is 0. That's why it cancels. Equals, you put 4x. 10 minus, I mean, 18 minus 10 equals 8. And then in here, this is multiplication. Now you're going to cancel by division. Remember that the opposite, the inverse of multiplication is division. So you divide. 4 divided by 4 is 1x equals 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Again, if you were to... Just check really fast, even mentally. 7 times 2, 14. Plus 10, 24. Is it equal to the other side? Uh, 18 plus, you multiply 3 times 2, 6. 18 plus 6, that's also 24. So we say that this is right. Okay, now let's do number three. Again, the first thing when we have variables on both sides of the equal sign, okay, on both sides, we cancel the term. Now, some people say, teacher, can I cancel this one first? Yes, you could, but if you get conf for those who get confused, you can cancel the M, okay, and then the, the rest. Okay, so cancel variable term so notice how in here we are subtracting m so the opposite is to add m to both sides 4m plus m is 5m and the rest you just bring down the same the same and this was cancel and from there is just your two-step equations okay Cancel the addition and subtraction, and then cancel the division or multiplication. Okay, two steps. So, cancel by, if I'm subtracting, the opposite is adding. Plus 11, plus 11, and then we get 5m equals, this cancels because if you owe $11, you pay $11, that's zero. 4 plus 11, that's 15. Then this is multiplication. When you have a number, a coefficient with a variable, that's a multiplication. So you're going to cancel by dividing. And so divide by 5, divide by 5. Notice that in division, I have been using the same sign. Very important. We do not change the sign in multiplication or division. And the reason is because if you did, you will end up with positive divided by negative, negative m. You don't want negative variables. Okay, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And that's it. Again, you can just check. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 11 is 1. And in here, 4 minus 3 is also 1. Okay. Okay, the next one, again, cancel variable term. And so it's easier if you cancel the one on the right. So I'm going to add, since I'm subtracting for y, I'm going to add for y. This cancels. And on this side, I only have negative 1 left. And on this side, 3y plus 4y is 7y minus 8. 
Now I'm going to cancel, I, remember, of the two numbers, the lonely one, el solito. Cancel what is being added or subtracted. So if I'm subtracting, I'm going to cancel by adding. And so plus 8, plus 8. So I get 7y equals, if I owe 1 and I pay 8, that means that I have 7. Signos diferentes se resta y se deja el signo del mayor. Okay, different signs we subtract. 8 minus 7, 8 minus 1, 7, and keep the sign of the greater one. That's in addition and subtraction, keep the greater sign. Okay, multiplication, we're going to cancel by dividing. Whoops, divide. Dividing, there you go. And so 7 divided by 7 is 1. Y equals 7 divided by 7, 1. Okay, so uh, let me do this check. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 8. On this side, four negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 and negative 1. 3 minus 8, that means that I have negative 5 because different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the greater one. Same signs we add and keep the sign of the greater one. So we add, sumamos porque son los signos iguales, se suma y se queda el signo mayor. 5 plus 1 is, I mean 4 plus 1 is 5 y el signo mayor negative so it, yes they are equal okay that means that this number one is correct okay since you get it i'm gonna do it a little faster voy a hacerlo un poco más rápido como ya lo entendieron primero 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 cancel variable term so el p Estoy sumándolo porque es positivo, so menos 2p, minus 2p, 3p plus 3, and I get 5p, minus 2p, 3p. And here I only have 3. If I'm adding, I'm going to cancel by subtracting. Minus 3, minus 3. And it's always whatever is on the side of the variable, okay? What do I have left? 3p equals 3 minus 3, 0. This means mul multiplication. Some people want to subtract. No, these next numbers next to the variable means multiplication. Cancel by division, by dividing. And so if I'm multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide by 3, the number ne next to the variable meaning the coefficient, and 0 divided by 3 is 0. So that's going to be my answer. Quick checkup, super fast, 5 times 0, right? 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3, and 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3, and 0 plus 3 is 3, equals 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. So yes, they are equal, therefore it's correct. Okay, last but not least, again, I'm going to cancel by, oh no, cancel, sorry, I have variables on both sides, so cancel variable term. So, I want to cancel this, which is negative x, negative x, okay, and... The reason is because it, this is positive, so negative, and it's the whole term, okay? So what do I get? Negative 3x and negative x, careful, same sign, we add. And if we have just x, that means that there's a negative 1 in there. So negative 3 and negative 1, debo 3, debo 1, debo un total de 4. I owe 4x, so negatives we add and keep the sign of the greater 1. Plus 7 equals negative 5. If I'm adding 7, the opposite is to subtract 7. So this is cancel by subtracting. 
and so I get negative 4x equals same sign we add and keep the sign of the greater one so it's going to be negative 7 plus 5 is 12 don't mind my dog Rocky multiplication we're going to cancel by division okay remember that if we have a number next to the variable with no plus or minus in the middle that means multiplication okay don't think that this means minus and I'm gonna add no it's multiplying I'm going to divide and divide by the same sign okay the mismo signo this cancels because negative 4 divided by negative 4 negative divided by negative is positive 4 divided by 4 is 1x okay si le cambiamos el signo este va a ser negativo and we don't want that negative 12 divided by negative 4 Negative divided by negative, positive. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And that's it. Let me just check really fast. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9 plus 7. And is it equal to the other side? 3 minus 5. And so all I did was to replace this and multiply it, okay? Negative 7 plus 2 is, plus 7 is negative 2. Okay, different signs we subtract and keep the sign of the greater one. Is it equal to the other side? 3 minus 5. Again, different signs we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. And keep the sign of the greater one, which is negative. So yeah, they're equal. So yes, this is right. Okay, so now you can work on... 11.15 and 11.16 so have fun